and hi welcome back to this video um, in the last video we apparently saw the pimple foam solver kind of exit for some reason so um, other than that pimple foam was working pretty well so let's take a look at the lock pimple foam lock lock dot pimple foam and this is what we find okay so let's um, Yeah, let's go to the beginning. Alright, okay, I should put colon zero. Yeah, that's the beginning. So, so it initialized a solution. So the max iteration is 1000. The fields are given, uh, initial fields. So uh, it's going to calculate, etc, etc. It's a K epsilon model. Okay, with all these uh, constants, uh, these are in turbulence, of course. Um, so we're gonna start the time loop. Uh, Coron's number mean is this much, max is this much, and we start with a very low time step, which is perfectly fine. And it goes on for remember how many outer loops. So um, it's gonna solve for all the iter uh, iterations. I'm going to solve our iterations, etc, etc, and it goes all the way down. So let's do my pitch down. Yeah, it's a pitch down. So, okay. So at iteration 26, um, I think uh, OpenFoam decided, hey, uh, your fin the residuals are small enough so that we can, you know, start our final iteration. Then it, it says there's a fatal error there in this first entry. Uh, U-final is not found in, in uh, dictionary, I.O. stream solvers. So, there's this U-final entry not found. So again, form parallel run exiting for each of the, each of the four, uh, I think, what do you call that? Uh, each of the four, uh, um, yeah, each of the processes. So the thing kind of aborted. So what did our FV solution look like? Okay, so there's a P, there's a P final, and then there's a U, UK, Epsilon, Omega, blah, 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 but there's no U final in the solver entry over here. Now there is a U final in the relaxation factor part here. This, this part here is important, U final. So if we specify a U final in the relaxation factor part, we should at least uh, put an entry in the solver part here. Okay. So we need to give the give it that entry. So what are we gonna do? Quite, quite simple. Gonna have copy and paste this. Alright. And then we're gonna say uh, we wanna want all of this and we're gonna have a final. So Let's see how uh, it's being done in uh, the incompressible flow, pimple foam, uh, RAS, and double tap to show that uh, I want the propeller case. And let's go to F, uh, what do you call that? Uh, system, clear. And let's go to the control dictionary. Control di oh, that's not CD. I need to VI the control dictionary. Okay, so oh, not not control FV solution, VI FV solution. Right, so let's VI FV solution. Notice that here they will have a UK epsilon final. So whatever over here, I need to put a the, the entry for the final one. So let's let's put that in final and basically we, we since we already have all the entries here we shall leave it as it is uh, yeah we shall we can just leave it as it is relevant uh, relevant tolerance is zero smooth solver blah 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 so that that should not be a problem hopefully after doing this entry uh, pimple foam will be able to solve correctly so git so let's uh, 
let's add the changes or rather uh, let's see all clean first we just do an all clean clear um, and let's do a what do you call it let's do a uh, yeah let's do a git add git commit of uh, debug adding new final entry in mv solution so git i'm gonna push it onto git So that should be all right. Clear this up. Let's start running the all run parallel. Okay, hopefully this time it works. So I'm going to I'm going to cancel this. Let's go to the GitHub Open Phone Workspace and this. Oh, I forgot the end sign there. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just uh, navigate as usual to our Pipeflow snappy x mesh directory. Oopsie. Wrong one. See the thin pipeflow snappy x mesh. And let's go to uh, pimple foam. So topo set and uh, create patch is running, which is great. We just need to wait for uh, pimple foam to start running. Should take a while. I'm going to fast forward. And hopefully, uh, we should be able to see that uh, pimple foam will start running. So go fast forward. Yeah. So now pimple foam has started to run, and yeah, I will, I will uh, let it run for a while. Meaning to say, in real life, I'll be probably taking some time off, some break, then uh, come back. Uh, hopefully, can uh, uh, take a look at what's going on in the uh, pimple foam log, and that's yeah, we'll continue. And so I'm back from my break, and let's take a look at the whatever, um, whatever uh, pimple foam has. Okay, so uh, apparently there is no stopping of the pimple foam process, which is great. So let's look at log pimple foam. So it goes, um, it goes from let's say yes, pimple iteration one. Okay, let's put a zero. Yeah. Okay, so zero. Um, yeah. Let's see, pimple iteration one. And it goes all the way down. So the time step here, they start at 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. And approximately after. 26 iterations the convergence is is done there's a cron number mean and all that then they increase the time step which is good so they are adapting the time step see they are, they're changing the time step from 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 to 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 so that's a big increase so again uh, probably after like 20 20 24 iterations this time so see pimple iteration 24 then now it's uh, sort of converged. So there's two time steps now. So they're increasing, increasing. And um, I think it takes about 60 seconds per time step. So, and what's the Quran number? The Quran number max is about 0 0.0001. So let's see, it should be able to uh, iterate a few times. And then let's see. Okay, so around here, you can see that the current number is increasing. Time step we are increasing also. So let's go all the way to the bottom. So I'll just uh, colon and the maximum number I can go. Uh, let's see what the latest time step is. So here. Okay, good. Uh, we are the current number of about two, which is great, and the time step is about zero point one seven. 
which is several orders of magnitude uh, greater than what we were at previously. So yeah, we are running steadily at the current number of two. Good, and uh, the time is about six seconds, I think. Six seconds. So every every like uh, time step, uh, yeah, every time step there will be uh, several. It'll you know, take somewhat about let's see, three eight six nine. Three eight six nine. So every time step, and this is three eight two three. So every time step will take about forty ish seconds. Forty seconds of calculated time, we it, it becomes one time step of about zero point one seven. Right. Which is good. Which is good. Um, nothing, nothing too fancy down there. Very good. So it's a very stable, a very stable problem. The current number max of two. So we can just let it run a, like a, a a few more, uh, a few more hours or or so. Three six o o. I think that's almost an hour, isn't it? Three thousand. Yeah, yeah. This is about an hour of running. So um, yes. Yeah, so by basically we have a uh, uh, lead pimple foam kind of uh, run successfully and uh, nothing nothing too uh, serious is going on which is a uh, great news okay so so now um, CD pros now we want to see uh, what what's uh, our whether any time steps are time steps are written yet? So no, usually they're right at uh, number fifty. So we will just have to wait for this uh, simulation, this case to finish, uh, and see how much uh, time saving we have compared to uh, a piezo form case. So oopsie. Yeah, so but that that kind of concludes what uh, we want to run with uh, uh, pimple foam. We have talked about how to set it up correctly. Uh, we talk about how to set uh, set it up correctly, and we talk about the. Oops. Yeah, we talk about how to set it up correctly, and perhaps in the next uh, video, um, uh, we want obviously want to compare. Uh, the results of a uh, pimple foam to piezo foam when it eventually finishes anyway okay so for comparison of course piezo foam uh, pimple piezo foam is uh, let's see hmm yeah, so for comparison, uh, piezo foam seems to take about uh, 3,600 seconds. I mean, 3,200 seconds. So, uh, yeah. So you can see it's, uh, it, it depends whether, you, yeah, it may or may not be faster. But you can see for the, uh, for the same, for this uh, residuals, uh yeah we have controlled the re we we basically kind of iterate till till it reaches a certain tolerance of course if we increase the tolerance then uh, it will tend to run faster but yeah uh, you should have learned a lot from the last few videos and you know, seen how to set up the thing and it looks like in this case pimple foam seems to be slower because of the way we set up the problem we wanted it to have so many iterations uh yeah, we wanted it wanted it to be to have so many iterations, and definitely it is stable. But because it is uh, stable, then yeah, uh, we kind of uh, let's see. Yeah, because it's stable, you'll probably take a f quite a fair bit longer to calculate. 
which is good uh, if we want uh, yeah if you want a very stable uh, accurate solution otherwise it'll take pretty long still okay but uh, that's all i have for you uh, this video on how to run pimple from properly uh, thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time uh, maybe we can yeah look into other topics thanks for watching